Hello and welcome everyone to another stream of Age of Wonders. Uh, this is Ochi here and today I'll be continuing the uh, Frosting Necromancer series. Uh, in the last episode we chased down the enemy leader and we know that he's going to be somewhere in this in this general area and we're slowly but surely enclosing on him with this army and also with uh, this army that is coming from down here. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's just a matter of time at this point to what uh, um, uh, uh, as to when we'll find him. But yeah, we're also looking forward to um, well, I'm I'm predicting that this is gonna be the new throne city of of yellow. Uh, so yeah, we'll see if that happens or not. Uh, for now, I, there's pretty much nothing left for me to do. Uh, so let me end my turn and then see what the enemy is gonna do. Um, Let's see, I don't think there's anything else that I needed to do per se. Maybe it's a good idea to, to put some units over here. Ah, let's... I think that might be a good idea indeed. Yeah. So blue is... I want a piece of me as well. Huh. Maybe I should have produced a, a unit here instead of uh, producing the um, Harvester's Guild there. <laughs> so this army, will it reach? It will not. Not even close, but next turn it will. And the Shark Trooper can definitely reach. So I will need to do something about this. And I'll probably just summon a, a Lost Soul or something in there. Uh, so I will need to find a target for this Undead Plague, or, um, yeah, or just this, or just uh, abort it and start something new, and that's also an option. So these these units from Yellow, they're not worrying me too much because if I find this leader and I can kill him, then you know we're set. Uh, then they become independent units, and then we don't have to worry about those at all anymore. Uh, so I'm just slowly gonna gonna inch forward. Uh, not his leader, unfortunately, but some a random army. We have some independent units here that I definitely want to take care of. And it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do that this turn, unfortunately. Nope, not gonna be able to do that this turn, but that's okay. Uh, these units can just follow slowly. Um, yeah, I think they're they are good there. I was gonna send you underground if I remember correctly. Let's go put you over there. Stone wall has been finished. Oh yeah, to get this uh, great farm in my domain. Yeah, not to. Yeah, I just want to do this for vision range. I think I think that was the general idea behind it. Mm. So let's put a white witch in here for next turn. Uh, and yeah, this can just slowly start growing, um, slowly but surely. Uh, this group of units can just head down further. Nothing else for them to do really, and then just to uh, continue on their merry way. Don't think I want to clear that. I think this group is already large enough, and I don't think it needs to grow anymore. So in this tomb, we could find some undead units, uh, uh, some reanimators maybe, um, but I don't think I will need those. Um, at the moment, we on, the only reanimate that we have is from the uh, from our our leader, but I think that should that should be sufficient. Let's see. You grew into an outpost. That is great. Um, you got a vampire, oh no, a cursed egg. That's fine as well, yeah, still growing into an outpost, I guess. Um, don't have to produce thingies there. Oh yeah, I, I, got an, I got a titan there, eh? I think I was gonna go onto in here. Do you have tunneling? Probably don't. Nope, you don't. I might just leave him here as a defensive unit. Maybe I'll 
get the shock trooper get rid of the shock trooper and get the titan in here let's see what do you get you get a good slayer inflict crippling wounds and unholy champion and you have guard breaker but i think i like the uh the shock trooper better because he also has uh tireless um he has lifesteal because he's an infantry unit uh, war cry like there's, there's a lot of good things about about the uh, the uh shock trooper here and I seem to remember that we wanted to go out somewhere here. So let's just go do that right now. Get some gold along the way. That's always nice about the tunneling options. And I think I'll just leave you here as a, as a defense. Uh, could meet up with him, with this group. But then I don't have anyone to defend this city. So I think I will just leave you there. I would love to find another city with this uh, little cadaver. Oh, oh, it's a dwelling. Oh, we can't do the undead plague. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Well, they are. Uh... Yeah. Okay. I am gonna gonna make peace with them. Like we are already at at very much. <laughs> a oh. <laughs> That was a misclick. Uh, so I wanted to make peace with them, but instead uh, we went to war with them. I mean, that's just how uh, it goes sometimes. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, so I wanted to make peace with them because that would mean that we could get uh, the city as a dwelling at some point and it has a nice and central location uh, that can oversee this, this little crossroads right here. So if there's something that comes from up north, then we would be able to see it. And the other, the other road down here, we can see with our um, Archon dwelling. So that's why I wanted to have this, uh, this little city here. Uh, we might be able to access it through here as well. I'm not entirely certain. I haven't scouted that yet. It seems like we are going to abort our Undead Plague. Very unfortunate. Wasted some mana there, but the mana is really not an issue. It's more the casting points that is important to us. Uh, and I think I'm just going to summon a Lost Soul in my, in my city over here. I mean, it's not the best, but I mean, it's better than nothing. Um, I can maybe also just run away from from this guy, from the Orc Shock Trooper. Mm, not sure if that's if that's going to be possible. I think the Lost Soul does it have life steal as well? Yeah, it does have life steal. So that's good as well. I would love to cast Embrace Darkness on my cities, and I think maybe I'll just do that on on some of my on some of the cities that I want to produce units in. Uh, uh, so this is just on thingy. That's just on thingies. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll start producing some stuff in my in my cities now. I think our gold situation has has changed drastically. Um, so I think I will be able to to afford some some stuff in my cities now. Um, I would like to have the slaughter pits here, and I think for now that's all. Uh, maybe the cathedral of bones. Uh, this is just a, a really cheap uh, upgrade that I'm gonna do there. You are good. Yeah, I, I don't think we can produce stuff in every single city uh, just because it would just cost us too much. Uh, we can definitely use a, a playful totem though. Well, as you can see, our our, our, our money uh, income, our income is just absolutely abysmal. Um, yeah, we definitely need to have this, um, this builder down here and take over the cigarette. I think that's gonna be one of the better things to do for us. I am going to summon, uh, start another summon lost soul because in the next turn we need to survive this battle here, and then uh, afterwards we have to deal with this uh, with this rogue over here. So yeah, let's uh, let's try and deal with that as as quickly as possible. Let's also have a look over here because if they if the leader is walking around somewhere and he's going over this way, then we want to be able to see that. Yeah, that was very much to be expected. Let's go manual combat. There's nothing that deals damage to this, so maybe I can just run away. Uh, that's the first thing that I'll try. Uh, if if the shock trooper comes 
comes near me, then he he's probably just gonna win. Um, I'm gonna go as far into the right as possible, and then possibly just loop around back uh, onto the left side. Uh, I think like so. I think he might just go. If he, yeah. So th that's what I was hoping for, that he would go onto the wall because now he doesn't deal damage to anything, um, and we should just be able to run away from 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 this shock trooper. Perfect. Very, very good. So we are able to, to defend, at least for now. Um, next turn, our odds will have increased greatly with the uh, Frosting White Witch that is uh, um, that we are producing here. Um, I didn't see anything move over here. And in the underground, everything looks pretty much the same as well. Yeah, also... Okay, lots of stuff happened. Uh, Glacial Totem, that's fine. I think I'll produce, I'll start producing stuff again here. Insufficient funds, yeah, that was to be expected. This is fog. Uh, all machine and armor units have minus three and get 40% shock weakness due to humidity. Visual range, all, oh yay. Oh, I hate vision range uh, uh, modifiers. Um, yeah, not fun. Um, we don't have a lot of armored units. We don't have a lot of machine units. I think this thing is armored, eh? Yeah. So he has way less armor now. That's um, very interesting. So we can put this thing on there, that thing on there. I think those were also the two items that arrived. Yeah, that's perfect. And bomb skill down here. Yep, yeah, just make the city grow as fast as possible. Um, yeah, not really anything else to say there. So, for this group, I think the idea was to go down here, if I remember correctly. And let's take uh, those then, and then continue our way down here. This group can slowly follow. This group is way, way stronger than in this group right here, but... Yeah, unfortunately we can't really get them together. Uh, this one I was really looking forward to. Um, all Frosting Mammoth Riders are 50% cheaper and produ uh, uh, to produce and deal an additional two melee damage. Uh, I mean, I really like Frosting Mammoth Riders, so that's really, really nice. And that is not interesting for us at all because we're already producing a lot of mana. So yeah, Frosting Mammoth Riders, let's go. We can summon our Lost Soul and that is for sure gonna go in this city. We definitely need some more defenders over here. Very unfortunate that we can't do like uh, that we can't make other other things, but yeah, it is what it is. We have any research that we can do. Yeah, I mean, Emmy of the Faith and Twine by Shadows Damnation, all of those are really really good. They're just gonna get the strength though, so I'm not sure whether researching that actually has any merit. I would rather get Necromancy. Um, maybe I should also try going for Bone Collector soon because we have to deal with the Dreadnought, uh, with the Dreadnoughts very soon as well and um the dreadnoughts of oh, the the bone collectors have demolisher which will m make dealing with the enemy uh, uh machine units much much easier fallen clouds that's fine that's a metropolis now perfect um that's, that's pretty much set Unfortunate, not the leader. Ah, New Throne City. I was expecting that. Uh, I, I predicted that correctly. Um, that's nice. <clears throat> so I think with this group then, I will just continue down this way and start attacking that Throne City. No leader still? No, no leader still. Um, I am gonna take out this group. So I'm gonna attack this group right here. Probable victory. I think that's a little bit more likely than that, but sure. I mean, the previous time I was also wrong. What is this? Dragon, Frost Dragon Ward. Oh no. Mm-hmm. 
So lots of stuff happening here, but nothing really of consequence. Uh, um, let's see, castigate is not really useful for, for, for me in this case. Uh, maybe that. Yeah, that, that seems good. I'm just gonna go short bow. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. That looks like a lot of damage. I'm gonna uh, defensive strike that so that the other one can't move without taking a an attack of opportunity. And here, unfortunately, I'm a little bit hamstrung by the by the terrain because there's a lava wall right there, and we can't really seem to to get around that very easily. So I will let the flyers come to me and then. Um, yeah, just this one. Yeah, just just tank up uh, some hits with this flyer over here. In the meantime, I'm gonna give my crossing mammoth rider some some stuff here, and uh, yeah, I think I'm good like this. Okay, I'll try to do as a spell. Okay, well, if they're coming to me, that's that's fine by me. Do not mind that at all. Well, they are not gonna last very long uh, if they fight like this. That is fine. Um, does it matter? Castigate, maybe? They do have Frost Weakness. Yeah, I think that's the best one. Uh, kill it with this guy. And then... <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean, there's really not that much to say about about this uh, this battle right here. It's a very very easy battle, and you can attack that. And my turn. Oh yeah. Yeah, as you can see, we can't really get get to this uh, to this hero over here, but we can deal a lot of damage with our ranged attacks. I think um, should probably try and heal up as well uh, at some point. Some castigate. Oh, that's very nice. Let's throw a curse and then get this guy as, as close as possible. Next turn, I'll just heal and then. Uh, just be done with this combat. Um, let's see, where is this heal? Oh, you're you're my sorcerer. Never mind. Um, I thought it was my. This was one of my necromancers, but it was not. Um, are you a necromancer? No, you're a arch druid. Let's see. Can I finish you off with this? Yes, I can. Good. I should have healed first, but yeah, I don't think it matters too much here. Um, let's see, we got a another uh, long bow. Oh no, this is a short bow, eh? So yeah, I'm just gonna swap around some items here, just so it's a little bit easier for me to uh, uh, to get to them when I need to. So the way items show up in your in your uh, uh, as the order is dependent on where where the items are in your slots. So if I sh turn these two around, then you can see now the two now the two bows are not next to each other anymore, and now they are again. So it all depends on where they are in the uh, in your inventory. I think I'll sell the the bloodthirsty sickle there. Uh, um, I don't think I need that. I don't think I'm gonna make machines that much, and it's actually got a lot of gold right now. So I will sell this. Um, throw filth could. Be potentially be interesting but not more interesting than 60 gold so I'll also sell that let's see what do we get magical being strong will strong will is nice uh, but is that the best thing so harmonizing energy doesn't work on um, what's it called Maybe Dragon Slayer army? I'll just save my, my points. Uh, there's no need to, to do anything right there. Uh, unfortunately, we just barely can't make it onto the um, onto the haste berries there. Um, yeah, and against the Zephyr Bird, I'll just auto combat this. Uh, I think that should easily be able to get to become ours. And 
Actually, what I might do is release this as a vassal, or I could plunder this. So I'm not planning on taking any any um, any uh, uh, dragon dwellings because dragons cannot become undead, so they're not very useful for me. So I I may as well take the the uh, plunder option, which will give me a lot of gold, oh, which will give me uh, like 600 gold. Um, it might not go through because I'm gonna abandon the city as soon as I get it and um, just move on to find this leader of his. This leader is probably here somewhere, I, I suspect. Um, so that's where I'm gonna go now. Hero leveled up, yeah, we already knew that. Our builder is still on its merry way to uh, 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 down there. And you guys are gonna fight this here. Oh, the Skull Lord. Yeah, I think uh, I can just also combat this. I don't think I need any of the reanimators here to join my army. Do I want this army to have reanimators? Maybe. Okay, in that case, I will attack this uh, uh, manually um, because the uh, reanimators might actually be quite useful for uh, for the other army there. Uh, dwarf reanimator and what is this? A halfling reanimator. Oh, they are actually really good. They have memories of joy. Uh, so memories of joy is a is a necromancer. It's a halfling necromancer specific um, uh, ability uh, that's specific for the um, reanimators as well. And that is that that uh, undead units uh, become uh, get happiness a happiness bonus. So yeah, that's actually surprisingly useful. So let's go over here. Let's try and doom gaze this thing. Yep, one shot, that's great. And now I wanna kill this bef uh, uh, first before I kill the, the dwarf reanimator there. Um, just so I'm uh, more, so, so I can uh, reanimate him with a great reanimate undead. So I really wanna get everything over over here uh, to kill uh, this halfling uh, reanimator as soon as possible. Okay. Not too much damage. We have a small chance to kill here. Well, that's always uh, the issue with halflings, we never know. Um, so we do have necromantic aura that can trigger as well. Uh, not now, now we don't. But we have control undead. I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? That's uh, that's that's yeah. Why not? Can I petrify you guys? I don't think so. No, I cannot. So I will just end my turn here. Oh no, not the melee attack. Ho! Oh, lol. They actually controlled the, I actually controlled the, um, the, what's it called there? The lost soul. Can I reanimate it? Ah, oh, I can't. That's unfortunate. Um, Necromantic Aura. Let's try to go for that. Controlled Undead. So this, is a, this one is now mine. And that also means that we can just kill this guy over here, which I'm gonna do with my shock trooper. Good stuff. So we did get the halfling reanimator. That one might actually be better than one of the Archon casters in my group here. I think I might just swap that out for for. I should have I should have walked uh, this this Archon caster back then. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go down here with the caster in that case, um, and just let the uh, um, the halfling reanimator join up with this group. I think that's gonna be all right. Okay, let's hope that this thing can find another city. Okay, it can. Okay, Draconian. Unfortunately, we didn't have an Under Plague ready for this one. Um, uh, yeah, I am gonna cast one here. Ah, next turn, this is this is uh, 
my my uh, uh, cadaver is gonna die unfortunately can I heal him somehow I don't think so I could maybe go into a combat with this charger uh, do I have any combat s spells that can Maybe with a greater life stealing, but am I, am I really gonna waste that many points on on to get a a undead plague next turn? I don't think so. Uh, so instead, I'll just um, I'll just abort that and cast corrupt the source because I know that I have this thing here that I can corrupt, and that way I get a little bit more growth. So where is the city underground? It's here. Is there anything nearby? Oh. Is there anything nearby anywhere that we can go underground? Not really, eh? I think the closest would be somewhere. Oh no, there is. I've tried to get there before and I've always been been encountered. Uh, uh, I've always encountered. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, independent units so maybe i have to be a little bit more careful when going down there i would really love to make some mammoth riders here and then get this necromancer his own army uh, so i will try and give get that going let's not make that infinite let's make a reanimator A white witch and then another mammoth rider. I think that should be a, a good starting point for his army. Um, yeah, let's actually just make another mammoth rider. I think that's that should be fine. I think if this this can be a party on its own uh, already, and this was also a really good party against um, uh, against the draconian uh, uh, or against the the the. Um, What's it called? The freaking machine guys, the dreadnoughts, uh, because they they can the mammoth rider can take care of those uh, really easily. So with this one, I'll just move around a little bit, get some scouting in, but yeah, I won't be able to take the to take uh, the city, unfortunately. Uh, I could walk around there with my uh, titan and just uh, cast a undead plague on, on on their city. That could be something that I could do. And I really want to get Embrace Darkness here. Embrace Darkness on my uh, on my uh, throne city uh, to make all of my units dedicated to evil. And then, uh, so once I start making uh, making units, then I can uh, do that. Uh, then they are already dedicated to evil. So I swap these around purely for that purpose because my Frosting Reanimator is going to take two turns no matter what. So. I have one turn where I can uh, uh, um, prepare uh, Embrace Darkness, basically. Okay, let's end turn. Let's see what the enemies do. Okay, there's some more stuff showing up down here. Don't think that looks too scary, to be honest. We're probably going to get attacked in this city again, but that's completely fine. I am not worried about that. Oh, no, they got Imperial Residence. That's unfortunate. Uh, so I think that's the dwarf, right? Oh no, not the not the the freaking dragons. That's unfortunate. Yeah, okay, well, that thing is dead. There goes my, my halfling uh, reanimator. But uh, at least I'm gonna get a dragon for it in return. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Um, yeah, let's do that first, I think. So if I now kill the dragon, uh, I can just reanimate it with my uh, Melvin. So that is going to be uh, uh, what I'm going to attempt. And I'm also going to try to control undead this uh, this bone collector. I'm not actually sure if that works since they have mind control immunity. But how does that chromatic aura work? Yeah, so it's a spirit check. Uh, uh, so we won't be able to... Hmm. Maybe we will be able to... Maybe we will be able to. That would be cool. Let's use a guard breaker and then just start uh, 
So let's see. Control under this is an eight uh, uh, spirit check. A necromantic aura only a seven. So we would be better off uh, to um, to use control on that on him. And actually, I'm gonna take one attack of, of, of opportunity here. Necromantic or resisted, that's fine. Maybe another one? No, we can't take another one. Okay, control undead. Okay, resisted, that's unfortunate, but not a big deal. We can just make those ourselves as well. Uh, you have Demolisher. Good, and now just these guys. Uh, I just want to, um, now I want to kill the Bone Dragon before I kill anything else. Um, just because that, that will enable me to resurrect the guy afterwards. Kill that, kill that. Oh, maybe I should have uh, broken his guard first. Uh, you have guard breaker, yes you do. Maybe I should break his guard first with the... Shock trooper, do you have charge? Doesn't look like it. Well, I'm gonna give you that. And then you kill him, and then we reanimate. Good stuff. That's another bone dragon for us. Yeah, that's completely fine. Now I'm gonna heal up my shock trooper that was severely beaten up. And also my new little bone dragon. Kill that and kill that. Good, easy peasy. Let's go. Let's go indeed. So now we have two uh, um, uh, tier four units down here. Uh, they can definitely hold that on their own. And we can just make our way downtown, walking fast. And yeah, we can just pop up, yeah, right there. Uh, right there and take the city from there. Um, yeah, good, good, good. Okay, so here we got that for us. Cursed. Yeah, sure, we can have that. We have no money whatsoever. Oof. Yeah, I think I think these these cities should just be producing uh, merchandise here. Uh, I don't see any reason why this, why they wouldn't be. Uh, we're already spending a lot of money uh, on 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 the new units that uh, that are coming for us. Um, see okay so you're growing that's nice to see um, good you have an item in your inventory that's nice that should use as well we have the summon banshee ability now Poof. okay I think it's time to get more casting points um, casting points are gonna be incredibly important for us Ooh. So I think I will take out this Forbidden Sanctum because it's pretty easy for us at this point. Ooh. Hello. Hello there. Let's see. First this. Oh, that's actually a pretty difficult one for us because they do a lot of spirit damage, all of them. Um... He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't. Okay, maybe not. Uh, maybe it's just a, the Fallen Angel. I think I think it's still a, a very likely victory for us. Um, okay, the transfer pain is always a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, bad, this Chthonic Guardian. I mean, he has, he has a big old tank, right? But he is so unhappy. Um... I think I will just stand here in guard mode. I think that's that's the best thing that I can do with with that with that guy. 
and I think I'm gonna do the same with my Archon Titan there. Um, I'm gonna give you Frozen Flames. Yeah, let's try and curse this, but the, the curse I'm literally just throwing because I um, uh, because I want to get rid of some of his moving points. Um, so and with these guys, I'm gonna go around and try to. Uh, hit their backline with this with this mammoth. I think that's a decent idea. Let's see what this arch agent is gonna do. Yeah, so I want to get rid of these martyrs. That's that's sort of the idea behind behind the move there. Yeah, so my my uh, Chthonic guardian doesn't really take any damage whatsoever. Um, I kind of want to get rid of some of this guy's movement points. Yeah, I'm taking a quite a beating here, but oh, they're both dead already. Actually, okay. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't have to worry about that so much. Um. Twenty to thirty. Uh, 22 to 34? No, 36. So this is always more damage. That is shock weakness. Oh, and frost weakness, flight weakness, okay. Well, it seems like we can do quite a bit of damage to him. So let's do this first. Uh, then go for this guy. And then to finish it off and that is our turn he can't really move because then he would take an attack of opportunity from the archon titan so now i can just choose who to give the xp to and i think the archon titan has found himself a nice snack because yeah he is still not uh, uh um he's still not elite so yeah he needs to to get get elite rank obviously that's fine. And here, I'm just gonna use range attacks to kill him. Uh, don't again. Don't care if my mammoth rider dies. Um, that's sort of what he's there for anyway. So much frost elemental. <laughs> I'm gonna take the gold again. That's uh, that's pretty much the only thing that I've used that ability for, but or that the, those forbidden sanctums for. But I think it's it, I think it's just good. Frostling Reanimator. Okay, so these are just units that we can that we can take. Oh, they had a few lost souls in there as well. I don't think that matters. I I think we can also uh, um, uh, control and dead those uh, that little thingy there. Oh no, this is my sorcerer army. Then never mind. We cannot. We unfortunately cannot take this uh, uh, Frostling Ice Queen. Seems like we can do very, very little to it uh, as well. Um, let's do that. You don't even have Guard Breaker, this Kassana Guardian. Well, then we should do that. We're gonna do that and then I'm going to give you the kill. Good stuff. Level again. That's a dispel. <laughs> Just going to dish out some heals. Um, yeah, sure. Ah, uh, I forgot that it doesn't have... Uh, um... Oh, I need to be a little bit careful, actually. 
So I, I forgot that I don't have every animate on dead in this city in this uh, army. So if I if I lose this thing, then I then it's really lost. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, and with it doesn't really matter. I mean, it it yeah. I could not care less if if this thing dies. Um, that's sort of what he's supposed to do as well because I mean he's not he doesn't like the alignment of our leader anyway. Um, Let's just try and kill that. But yeah, he's gonna get uh, attacked from all angles here, I think. He isn't. They're gonna attack the things in guard mode instead of the Catholic Guardian. Okay, I'm very surprised about that. Uh, these things are already full. Let's see, kill that, kill that. Kill that. Kill that, I guess. No, nope. not really. No, nope. okay. Very close to killing, but not, not entirely. And yeah, then you're gonna get the XP. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Lots of undead population for Meow. Oh, I understand. So in a in a previous episode, I was wondering why uh, um, one city got got the uh, uh, undead population and the other one didn't. Uh, I I don't remember exactly which episode it was, but. Uh, Meow is apparently the closest undead city that uh, uh, still needs a population. But then this one is closer. So why if I do a battle here, is Meow, the city that is over here, getting the undead population? Is it counting from the throne city? The, the closest from the throne city? I, honest, I honestly don't know. I am super, f I am flabbergasted by that. Um, I think I might just walk into into uh, the Frosting Necromancer's um, domain here and start wreaking havoc because, I mean, we might as well. Uh, there's nothing else really for us to get. Maybe some sorcery points. Uh, uh, let's actually just get that. Uh, I think that's a good thing for us anyway because at the end uh, uh, we want Chaos Rift. Uh, so if we look at this, Sorcerer... Sorcerer, level 11 or something, or 15, 13, yeah, Chaos Rift. So this is just an absolute banger of a uh, of a spell. Uh, if we cast that, we basically win from that point onwards. Thunderstorm also very, very effective with that. Um, so yeah, that is going to be great. Let's head down with this group. And you guys can join as well. Oh yeah, our our little builder that could is finally there, and we actually have enough money to get a fortress straight away. That is nice. Um, I'm gonna build it right right there, um, just far away from the city as possible. I don't know if it makes it makes a difference for the undead population growth, but I know that with normal cities, if there's another city in near it, then they get a uh, um, a debuff to, or not a debuff, but uh, uh, less population growth than it would usually get. I'm um, just gonna get that. Yeah, we don't need to rush anything here. And with this group, as mentioned before, we're just gonna head down here as fast as possible. I don't know if we can take that actually. We probably can't. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, that looks very strong. Yeah, with this army, we probably can't deal with that. No, let's let's just not. Um, I am gonna try and cast Whispers of the Fallen next. I hope we can we can cast that without too many too many issues. Um. Hmm. 
so yellow move forward a little bit but not too much i really hope that the shock trooper is going to start attacking us uh oh he's going to get reinforcements i mean a human archer i wouldn't even call that reinforcements to be honest okay the shock trooper is leaving that is fine so i'm a little bit worried about this um about this uh dwarf dreadnought um because we haven't seen a lot of, from him and i know that he's underground somewhere and he could just pop up somewhere on top here and then start you know being a really annoying in my in my home city and uh, or in my throne city and stuff like that so yeah that is something that we have to keep an eye on but yeah it is what it is i guess okay we have another frustling white witch now we can just start uh, producing some other stuff here and bombs killed and stuff like that. Unfortunately, these frosting white witches are really, really weak to fire. So yeah, there's nothing to be done about that. No, oh, a hero join. Um, so rogues are actually not bad against red knots because they have the demolisher ability, which works against machines. Hmm. I wonder if I should take this. I don't. Re I really don't like rogues, though. Let's say I require another type of hero. Put you over there. So, and what we could do with our dragon, actually, now that I think about it, is we could go over the lava here and start casting Whispers of the Fallen this, on this city right there. That would be really good. Okay, so we finally caught up. These units can go out straight away, together with the White Witch, I, th I feel like. And this is going to be... I'm just going to make one uber party here. Uh, I'm going to put that and that in... Add in. A little bit... Eh, about the uh, about the white witch yeah let's let's try this uh, I mean this should be a very easy battle now but maybe we can actually ghoul curse the manticore rider that would be nice get ourselves a frostling manticore rider that would not be bad at all Frozen flames, pretty pretty standard stuff, I would say. And let's get that. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can uh, get that Mad Core Rider to join us. How much spirit? Oh, you have fire weakness. Okay, yeah, that's because you're frostling, obviously. Um, so you have a lot of HP, so let's let's put you guys forward. The spider behind, and then these guys can just go over here. So these mammoths and stuff like that, I'm not worried about at all. Um, let's uh, let's make them come to us. So broken spirit, I don't think reduces oh it does reduce the the um uh, spirit weakness so that that is actually really good because that means that it's more likely uh, for us to be um to goo curse that thing yeah okay i'm immobilized though so i can't really do that do you have a dispel i do well that's you, you mean to say that I can't re reduce what? Okay, don't die, Manticore Rider. Just, just don't die. Not dead, at least. Mm, yeah, we need this web to work. Okay, that's good. That's really, really good. <laughs> And what I think I'm going to do now is just going to defend, actually. So this bear is probably going to come in from the other side. And try to attack my, my Lich King, which is going to be fine. I'm actually going to back this thing up. 
to right here to try and, t and deal with the bear later. I think these these guys should be fine over over here. Again, immobilized. Okay, that guy's panicked. Whew. My succubus is taking a beating. So this thing is feared, so we don't have to worry about that. Actually, let's death you. <laughs> uh, nope, that doesn't do anything. Let's try and seduce. Nope, didn't like that. So we can greater reanimate the succubus here. We don't really need to, but it would make our life a lot easier, I feel like. Um, this orc shock trooper can take on this mammoth right there. Hmm. No, let's let's deal with that mammoth. This this thing needs to be reanimated regardless. So on you, I'm going to stick in defense mode right there. Oh, maybe not, actually. Now that I've seen how much damage I just did with my uh, White Witch, let's just kill that. And yeah, now I can try to ghoul curse that. I don't care about the succubus. I would rather get the Manticore Rider here. Uh, can I take it any lower? I don't think so. Is the broken spirit? No, that's still on there. Um, we have a 65% chance that it works. I think that worked. I'm not entirely certain. And just in case. Yeah, good. Okay. So because we can web this, uh, we can now reanimate our, our other stuff here. Our other uh, succubus, you can't heal anymore, but you can, and you can as well. What do I need to heal? My leader. And then you can kill. Good. Very good. I think, yeah, we got ourselves a Manticore Rider. That is very nice. Um... I think I would rather take the gold here. We already have a pretty decent army. Um, and I think just continuing with this army makes a lot more sense. Um, yeah, I think that's that's gonna be fine. Don't wanna play that just yet. Domain invasion here, yeah, we knew that. Domain invasion here, yeah, we knew that. Be a very easy battle as well. And I think this is also gonna be one of the last battles that, that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a little bit more, but um, not too much. So let's see, Carson, you were a tank, right? Or at least pretty tanky, let's say. Uh, you have your own Deathbringer, that's nice. Let's just spare that guy. Mm -hmm. Oh no! What's going on the barbecue? Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, so we um, kind of... I kind of need to go uh, to a barbecue in a bit, so I need to... And this fight rather quickly. Let's see. Let's start. Let's start killing that. Explosive ice, ice that. That's fine. Ah, this mammoth rider should be tanky enough. Oh no. Okay, this reanimator can use some more XP. Let's go heal you.
Let's get some life steal. I mean, I I'm, I am getting gold curses on this, but I I think I'm just gonna disband these these units. Uh, I don't need them at all. I think. Um, I don't need those items either. Do you need them for anything? I mean, they can be defenders, I guess. Maybe I don't even need to make the White Witch in that case in uh, for this army. And actually, now that I think about it, there's already a Ice Queen here that is not really doing anything. So I might as well bring that along as well with this army. Which means that in my capital, I don't need to make this White Witch. And I'm a little bit quicker that way as well. Um, let's see. Start producing that. Yeah, you can stay there for now. You can go up again and you can start making roads now between our cities. Let's see. I can go there. Okay, I think we can just waltz into this capital and then take it. I don't think there's I think there's very little they can do to stop that actually. Uh, let's see if the cigarette has anything that we want. Um. I mean, we can just take this, uh, uh, take this fight, and then um, take the gold from it. I think this should be a very, very easy battle. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not too worried about this at all. Especially, especially with the fallen angel. This petrifying scream is just so incredibly powerful. I mean, imagine that together with a mass curse with which you would reduce the resistance and stuff like that. That's so sick. Oh, so sick. Well, let's put the tanks forward. Light weakness because it's a high elf. Good, good, good. Now let's let him come to me. Oh no. Oh no, so much deeps. Now that they're all out of guard mode. Petrifying scream. Oh my goodness. Holy moly. Oh my god, oh, this is unfair. This is unfair. I mean, now I'm just, I'm just bullying these guys. Let's try and go curse this. Okay, I think we got it actually. Yeah, I think we got it. Sick. Okay, so we got ourselves another Manticore Rider. I'm gonna give my guy the XP here. Um, and also this I'm gonna give him. And I'm gonna try to get another Manticore Rider because why not? I mean, he's still despaired, so, or he's still, uh, What's it called? Let's try and curse you before. Oh yeah, let's let's make it even more likely. 60 60% 60 chance to go curse. I think this was resisted, but I'm not entirely certain. Oh yeah, yeah, so this one was was resisted, but still, I mean. Jesus Christ. That's so and necromancers are so sick. So so sick. Uh yeah, let's kill you. Good. Good, 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 good. Mm, killing momentum. Oh my. That is really good on Carson. Um, uh, oh shit, I thought um, the dagger was the one that gave killing momentum, but it wasn't. Uh, so I can go up here. I am going to cast... Whispers of the Fallen. I'm immediately gonna reinforce that a little bit. I mean, it's gonna get disjunctive for sure, but still. Uh, I, 
I'm gonna go next turn and then I'm gonna end my turn right there. Captured. Huh? Which one got captured? Oh, this this city right there, uh, the dragon dwelling. Yeah, I kind of expected that to happen. Um, it is what it is. Maybe I'll go take it with my uh, with this army right here. So my other army downstairs, down down in the in the underground, was um, where is it? It's gonna head head up now and go after this new throne city of of yellow. So I might as well make it make uh, um, make use of this army and go go up here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. My goodness. Okay. Yeah. This 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 weapon is not too great, but the pants are just oof. Killing momentum on 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 Carson. That's pretty sick. That is pretty sweet. Okay. Just gonna go through a few of these, but yeah. Let's just save right here. Okay, let's just uh, um, end the episode here. Uh, they definitely want uh, this city back, it looks like. Uh, they're sending everyone over here to take the city back. So I might just use uh, uh, this group to defend that outpost as well. Um, yeah, it depends a little bit. I, I might just give this up. It's not, it's not too important for me to, to keep this city. Um, it's just for vision purposes. This city is really, really good uh, because there's just a few bridges here that connect from 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 this area right here. Um, so having this and this city, for instance, would be really, really nice. Uh, but yeah, for now, uh, uh, this this is gonna be it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this type of content, then consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.